What can you learn from Bancorp South Bank's fair lending mistakes? That's today on Risk Watch. Welcome to Risk Watch. I'm Taylor Reich. Bancorp South Bank, headquartered in Mississippi, made a $10.6 million mistake when its mortgage lending practices discriminated against African American consumers. Today we have AdviseX President Ken Agle here to explain what financial institutions can learn about Bancorp South's fair lending violations. Ken? Thanks, Taylor. Fair lending rules have been around for a while now. The Fair Housing Act and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act work together to prohibit unfair and discriminatory practices based on traits such as race, color, religion, etc. This isn't new to any of us. So what happened at Bancorp South and what can other institutions learn from its mistakes? First, the bank was found to be engaged in redlining in the Memphis area. Regulators found that it was actively working to meet the credit needs of majority white areas while avoiding the credit needs of minority areas. Second, loan pricing was found to be higher for African American borrowers than it was for white applicants. Third, the bank was found to have practiced general discrimination. The CFPB discovered this through match pair testing, as well as through something it hadn't done before. It sent in mystery shoppers posed as consumers who reported their experiences back to the CFPB. The verdict was that Bank Corp South treated African American consumers differently than white consumers. Fourth, the bank implemented a policy to inform minority applicants of adverse action within 21 days rather than the 30 days provided by regulation. Perhaps this was a misguided attempt to make sure that all denied applicants, especially minority applicants, were notified within the required timeframes. However, what it did in practice was give minority applicants nine fewer days to work through issues with their loan officer that might qualify them for a loan. That would be bad enough, but it got worse. The smoking gun in the investigation came in the form of a recording during a staff meeting. During the meeting, a manager tells loan officers and processors that applications from minorities should be turned down within 21 days. Later in the meeting, Bank Corp South employees were recorded making several racially insensitive comments, followed by laughter. So here are a few key takeaways. Lesson one, know what's in your data. Your data will tell you if you're at risk for redlining or pricing discrimination. Find out before your examiner does while there is time to implement steps to mitigate or provide a business justification for findings that could look problematic. Lesson number two. If your financial institution is a place where employees feel comfortable being insensitive about other classes, races, religions, etc., at work, even in joking, no matter how many times you remind them of the fair lending policies, discriminatory practices will leak through their interactions with customers and members. Fair lending is not something you can disregard behind the counter and then expect to be implemented in your institution. Lesson number three, the fair lending guidelines are to be taken seriously. Not only will violations cost a financial institution in fines, civil money penalties, and restitution payments, they will greatly affect its reputation. In short, what happened at Bank Corp South should be a wake-up call to all financial institutions to make sure that their commitment to fair lending doesn't just exist on paper, but where the rubber meets the road as well. Thanks, Ken. To learn more about fair lending or what Bank Corp South did wrong, please visit riskinbox.com resources. I'm Taylor Reich for Risk Watch. Thanks for watching.